Action. G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is very good to see you and we are so privileged to have. Now Sheila, how long have you been in Australia and where are you from? I've been in Australia 12 years. 12 years? And I'm Brazilian. Wow. And is this your home now? Home. Fabulous, home. fabulous. Now Sheila is helping us today testing out this epic creation here from Nikon. This is the 400mm 2.8, and we are gonna get some amazing lifestyle images here with Shayla. So you are gonna strut your stuff, you're gonna sing, you're gonna dance, you're gonna strike a pose. Do you think we might be able yeah, to find a dog? Oh, a dog? Yes. So, thank you. All right, let's go. Well, here we are shooting in the city with the 400 2.8 epicness. Today, we are testing out portraiture. I am going to roll. There's Sheila there, we can see. And let me just get the exposure right. Fabulous, there she is. And action! That's perfect, perfect. Love it, love it, love it. Sheila, fabulous. I'm happy for you to just really be over the top and like just, just, flipping. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Fabulous, look at this lens go. Oh my goodness, so good. I'm, I, I want you to be a tiger in the next one. Big smiles. The eye smile, okay. Yeah, and let's see, can we see your eyes, this one? My eyes? Yeah, yeah. Like it, like, let me, like let me hold it and I'll, I'll Yeah, you hold it. Okay, all right. Like it. All right, great. There we go. You know how I like level people. And... Oh, we don't want that. That's a problem. Okay, and... Sheila! Action! Just shooting without the TC. So good. Yeah. You rock. All right, let's keep going. Is I want you to walk down this street down the middle of the road like you own the place. Yeah, coming towards me, I'll be, I'll be about where Saeed is. So we'll just wait for the next, but if you walk up to where those three girls are standing and then just walk towards me. Yeah, let's take a, let's have a different look. All right, here is Sheila looking a million dollars. So I want to fly through some of the many amazing images that came. Now we were working in an active location, so we had to be mindful of everything that was going on were walking full pace towards us hair necklace everything just looking absolutely spectacular that's just drawing in the textures everything we've got the flash firing here we were just playing around with the flash i thought i'd give it a go have some fun with it okay we've gone vertical all right okay cut 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 and i haven't worked on these images particularly much there's always more that you can do uh, in the case of this one, I've removed this person here because I just think it's better without that person. to render even when we're we can see here we're working at f10 so i don't have nd filters for this lens you can see it's still rendering fantastically and here we are at 100 percent and you can just see how sharp and how amazing it is all looking i didn't actually rig the camera to be able to have the ninja and the flash and everything at once it ended up being a pretty massive amount of gear as it was lovely look this way look this way yeah nice 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 Nice, nice. And I know for next time, a few different things I will do differently. 
but still look very excited by what we captured. We were only shooting for a few hours to get all of this stuff. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. So good. Here we are at 100%. We're at 2.8 and 1 2,000th. Just look how good that all looks. Just the textures, the rendition. So you can absolutely, you can absolutely use this lens for portraiture. And it's just astonishing. I mean, everything is there. And the rendering is just gorgeous. As I said in my previous video, this thing appears to be without flaws. That's that's what I am seeing so far. Uh, let's have a look at what I've done to this file. I would say very little, very little. I've brought up the shadows a bit. That's it. Plus what Capture One adds to the equation. But I love these images. Again, we're wide open. One two thousandth ISO 64. Obviously at 400 mil. Just brought up the shadows because this is a high dynamic range situation. We are shooting in the sun. There is no additional lighting here. And well, good on you. That just looks so good. The eye detect is going great. Okay, cut. All right, so what we're doing now is we're shooting with the, the pro photo flashes. And I'm just getting the balance right between the background. Oh, that's excellent. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Okay, just reviewing, just checking the balance between ambient light and flash. And she's looking great. Okay, we've gone over to the two times telly. Sorry, the 1.4 telly. And Sheila's just doing an amazing job. There's a lot of faces, so it's getting a bit confused. Uh, I'm gonna change to 3D, to 3D, because there's so many faces. So we've got another, we've got a different focus mode which is called 3D tracking. And that allows me to select her face and then it'll just be stuck on her face in theory. And back to the flash. Now placement of the flash is critical and I probably would have brought the flash more front facing and next time we'll throw on some sort of soft on the front of it. But that's okay, this was a, an experiment and just showing what's achievable and i'm i'm just very excited about these outcomes here and shayla she did just such an amazing job we will be working again i'm wanting to go out with perhaps the 300 pf and we'll do it at twilight and use the flash in a lower light situation but the the rendering prowess of this lens so we're at ISO. I mean, these files are fabulous. There's a, a little bit more tweaking here, if you have a look over on the settings on the left, but really not that much. Yeah, great, 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 great. Okay, love it, love it, fabulous. Very good, very good. Okay, just checking the light. Oh, nice. So good. Here we are on a busy Saturday afternoon, and I asked Shayla, just start dancing in the street in front of hundreds of people and she just went for it she was just an absolute champ and this file is untouched just to give you an idea we've I've done nothing nothing to it we would bring up the shadows a little bit like there's a, a lot of different ways you can go to just bring her more out now in a perfect world we would be controlling the background and at times depending on what your desired outcome is sometimes when, you know when we do lifestyle we actually want to show the world so the people will stay in the background and as long as they're out of focus or they sign release forms we can use it for commercial purposes uh, if they're identifiable and sometimes we will try and have the background basically people free it just depends on what the art director's brief is what we're actually trying to achieve <laughs> Uh, Remember, ninja, ninja. Just gonna drop down a little bit. Ugh. All right, so we're shooting here again with the ninja, so we can just see what the viewfinder sees. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, 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 I love, I love it. Uh, I want to, I, I want to get full body. So if you can just go back another five meters. 
And if you can take the glasses off halfway, then we... Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, that's nice, nice, very nice. Love it. Fabulous, fabulous. That was a really nice walk. That was great. Let me just have a quick look, but... Oh, we've got smoke. Quick, go back. To the white chairs, to the white chairs. Smoke and no people. Yep. Back, 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 Let's have a little look, shall we? What an outstanding result there. We're at 100%. And this is just the Z9. And this lens doing its thing. Just spectacular. Give you an idea. This is ISO 400, 1 1,250th f2.8. Untouch this file. We could take it in any direction. This is the beauty of the Nikon RAW files. There's so much latitude to change things however suits you. What do you want to do? You want to make it darker? Well, you can make it darker. You want to make it lighter? You can make it lighter. These, these, This is the power of these files. We're only at 1 250th here, so this shutter speed is a little bit slow unless we actually want to show movement, and you'll see that you might just get a bit of a sense of that movement, which we do here in her hair and so on. This wasn't moving, so it's sharp. And this is just what happens. Now, with lifestyle photography, lifestyle photography is not worried about is often not worried about super sharpness. So it doesn't matter if you get that sense of movement. Like if we look at her hand here, we, we actually, we're looking for that. So you don't want super fast shutter speeds. It's more about the emotion, the movement, and sharing the moment. And absolute sharpness is not always what we're after. And that's great. It's something that I love about lifestyle photography is it's more about mood. At the end of the day, it's more about storytelling than that. So this is why we can shoot at low shutter speeds. This would be a, a, a considered a very low shutter speed for moving objects normally. There she is. Nikita. Yeah. La Professionale. You look great. So great. Yeah. Well, we'll do a bit of both, you know. In this collection of images, I was tracking Shayla from across the other side of a busy road using the face detect. As you can see, there's a car in the way and it was just doing a great job of just sticking with her. We can see it here. You just can't go wrong. Like it's it's sticking. It, I don't Look, I don't think there's any system that will give you 100% stickiness. There's just not. It doesn't matter. Uh, the shot, like this, this is just an absolutely gorgeous shot. I love the color, I love the frame, love her look, everything about it just, just works for me. And again, from a lifestyle perspective, this would be considered gold of telling whatever story it is we're trying to tell. That has been over sharpened for me. We're gonna turn all that right down. There we go. Also, the other thing I wanna show you here is that we are at 560 mil. So I am tracking her on the other side of the street, face to text going 560 mil. So we've got the teleconverter engaged. Absolutely fantastic. Same again, teleconverter. And we can just see how sharp and how fantastic that's looking. And this makes the process like the process of the Z9's capabilities as an image capturing machine, both color, dynamic range, handling, coupled with obviously easy focus acquisition, coupled with this 400mm lens, which is working near on the same, if not the same, at 560. So you've got that extra reach, and it's a genuine extra reach. There's no frame cropping or anything. We are getting 560 mils. The only difference is the F4. This is just spectacular stuff.
And then our last location was here in a bar. They've ju they just fired up the cooling system and the camera had to shoot through this haze of backlit water vapor. This file's unprocessed. And, you know, I'm in a situation that I, as a photographer, have never been in before. I actually haven't photographed with water haze before. Uh, certainly not on a 400 mil. Certainly not with that degree of backlight. I love throwing myself and the equipment into difficult situations. And here's the 400 mil. You can look at the settings here where ISO 80 1 400th f 3.5 and just I mean you can see you can see the quality here. I don't I don't need to say anything. It's just here for us all to see. But again, just the power and the flexibility of these files, they just never stop. I mean, look, we can see in here at 100% her eyelash. I mean, that is that is just something to behold. I mean, look look at the quality of that rendition. ISO 160, we're at 1 320th, we're at f2.8. So you, you just can't question this combination of the 400 mil wide open, Z9, just just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Not quite sure where I want that color temperature. A bit warm, a bit cooler. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So many great images, so many great images from this little session and I'm so proud of what we achieved in a pretty short space of time. Now something that we can observe here is with the mist and so on, it was changing the focus slightly as the mist and the mist got quite heavy at times and but it doesn't matter because there's just so many keepers and i was shooting i think here i was shooting at 20 frames a second so it's just like and i've got to be honest with you for this sort of work i won't shoot at 20 frames per second again it's 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 not necessary the results are just simply outstanding and they're here to behold great work everybody in this case great work everybody Really cool. Yeah, I love this shot. I just love this look. Love her glasses. And if only that dude didn't walk through frame at that moment. But, you know, it's the works. We might uh, throw a bit more vignetting in there. But, yeah, I, I love this one. I really love this image. Might be the thumbnail. Who knows? Something like that, perhaps? Lifestyle. That tells a story. Everybody, this is Said. I've known him for uh, like, I don't know, 35 years, maybe maybe longer. Feels like forever. One of, my best, good, good forever. one of my best mates and he's here doing some great shooting. You're gonna see his work. <laughs> Thanks mate, we'll but, see but, you We'll see you soon. On we, the next we, one. We've gotta take the, uh, the Hyundai yeah. for a squeal. For a squeal? Yeah. And we'll, we'll, yeah, no, we'll do that. This man in another life, he's an F1 racer. <laughs> no. Uh, if, if ne only. Ne next life, in next life, age. next life, yeah. next life. I want to say thank you so much for shooting with us today on this amazing, this is the Nikon 400 millimeter. How was your shoot today? How'd you like it? Amazing, so, so much fun. Great, yeah. and we look forward to having you back because you were so sure. good. Thank awesome. You so thank, thank you. Thank you, bye bye. In shooting with the Z9 and the 400 mil 2.8, we have a combination here which, as a photographer, I am simply not worrying about any aspect of the gear. This was an absolute delight to be out in the streets after a very long time of lockdown, working with great people, creating great outcomes, and being back on the tools, doing what I love to do. And it just simply couldn't be any better than what Nikon has provided for us with these two tools. This is the best of the best. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. It has been so great to see you. And if this is your first time here, I would love to see you again. Please do share, subscribe and like. And I'll see you very soon for the full 400 mil review. We've got all of this and more. Bye for now.